Hey folks, I got an 02 Ford Explorer here, and if you ever go to the gas station, you gotta put gas in it, and next thing you know, it pukes it out everywhere. It won't take the gas. Well, there's an easy fix. Don't go ripping your tank off, and don't go doing all this expensive stuff. There's a very easy fix. First thing you do, put a block under your front wheel. Don't want you running and getting run over. You'll have a bad day. Now I backed my Explorer back up on some ramps. I got a flashlight. I got a little quarter inch socket. What you gotta do, there's your gas tank. See that? Now I did replace my hose. It was uh, kind of rusted there, leaking a little bit. I just went to the parts store and cut off another hose and stuck it on there. Pretty easy to do. You go over here where the gas tank is. You see this hose? You unscrew this clamp. It is a one quarter inch drive. It's a little tiny socket. You pull this baby off of here. Now inside of this tank, there's a little baffle. Put your finger in here and you'll feel it. Free it up. Move it around. It gets stuck. I'm going to shine a light in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Uh, probably not. But there's a baffle in there. Can't see it. But it does get stuck. Once you unfree that, you are good to go. You're not going to have to spend all this money to take the tank off and do all this unnecessary stuff that people say that happens. I mean, occasionally the charcoal filter on top of it may get plugged. But what I did, I checked my return line. If you go up here by the tank, you pull this tank, uh, this line off right here, the return line right here. It just kind of clips up in there. Blow on that. If you can blow air through it, there's nothing wrong with your venting system. It's just that uh, piece that I showed you there that needs to be replaced. So I'll hook this back up real quick. And that's all you got to do. So uh, be careful. Like I said, shock. Make sure you're... You're up in the air pretty good and you got some uh, shocks under your front wheel and your emergency brake works and that's all you have to do so there you go anybody can do it there's the tank and tighten your clamp back up and you're good to go just like, like i said when you're up and in here just take your finger you'll probably hear it move that baffle back and forth it gets stuck when you're pumping gas, what it does, it backs up and it causes the nozzle to kick off. It's not getting, uh, the venting system is not working like it should. There's a little check ball right here. So, there you go. All right, it's all back together and make sure your gas tank has less than a quarter of a tank of gas in it. Since this is up in the air, all my gas went to the front of this long tank. So, when I pulled this hose off back here, there was no problem with gas leakage or anything, but uh, it might be better to make sure your tank's almost empty just to be safe, but at an angle that I'm at, I didn't have to worry too much. So I guess we'll go to the gas station here and pump some gas and see how it works. And there you go, pumping it like a boss. Working just like it should, so good luck guys, that's all you gotta do. Sweet.